how can we apply the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita in modern times? What can we learn from Bhagavad Gita that we can apply like uh, practical things, discipline, practices, um, something in this area, like learning from teacher, being in good association. What does Krishna say to Arjuna? How to live this life? Indeed. Well, first of all, it gives us a way of looking at the entire situation that is very broad in vision. Because of that, we see it like a school. I call it the universe is the university. We're in a university. Now, if you understand that everyone is in a different grade level and a learning level, you wouldn't walk around with a gun telling them to take the class that you should take. So you'd have a wider view. That's called Mahatma. You'd become big-minded. Yeah, tolerance and, and yeah, yeah. You'd be respectful. You'd hold a bigger worldview. And yeah, patience, you would understand, yeah. yeah, you'd understand with more patience the process that's going on. Then you'd also know that Prakriti has re or ritam. It has rules of nature. And so cooperating with the laws of nature is what we all should do. If possible, we need to share that with each other, find the laws of nature and work with them, not against them. It won't benefit anyone to go against them. Then it also teaches us to see one another as immortal beings, even if we're confused, even if we're lost, even if we're, doesn't matter which gender body we're in or whether we're animal or human or plant, still all of those are immortal beings having this big experience. So the Gita makes us, a Mahatma gives us a, a wider view. It shows us respect for every living entity. It shows us there's a, a beautiful being who is our friend that is the source of it all. So it calms our fears and it brings us to a state of harmony and balance personally. And then it acts as a user's manual for dealing with the various situations in life because we can refer to it and go oh i see someone's forgetting this they don't know that i have to be patient with them because they don't quite understand yet so i've made up a little word out of hindu in a sense the gita truly makes us hindu meaning honest intelligent noble divine and unified Wow. That's the real Hindu, honest, intelligent, noble, divine, and unified. The Gita takes us to those goals, but it doesn't force us. It's user-friendly. And if you have a computer, you should have a user's manual. This body it, and the complex of things that we are needs a user's manual. It's not blind faith. It's the knowledge of how to be an immortal being in a temporary world.